Hi, my name is Matthew Hill. I'm a recipient of the 2008 Summer Research Fellowship. Um, I, my proposal was called Development of a Research of a Refractory Castable Clay Body. Um, and I was working my mentor was Robert Wood for the Ceramics Department. I'm an art education ceramic design major and I'm graduating in December of 2009. With the research, I was researching a topic called Hypertufa um, and applying that to ceramics. My proposal was to make large scale sculptures, sculptural forms that had three properties. Um, that they were weather, uh, dur uh, weather resistant, they were light, and they cured like cement. I made these large uh, sculptural forms and um, eventually they crumbled. It did not take place what I had proposed. But you know, I researched the durability of refractory materials, and the lightweight uh, properties of clay, and the vermiculite. PMOS, the organic material that I added, and then applied a steel armature to create these forms. With that, I created tomato cage forms, made a roughly a six and a half foot sculpture, put it into a kiln to uh, heat up at around 2300 degrees. Um, pulled it out of the kiln, the results, visually I loved, they had the texture, they had the ceramic uh, surfaces that I like to achieve, but the forms crumbled and I was left with shards because the armature melted at a lower temperature than what I fired the kiln to. Because I proposed putting a show together, I uh, wasn't sure I was going to do this with shards rather than large sculptural forms. And I put together a show called Memoirs of a Refractory Cast with Clay Body and a run through of what took place is in each piece there is the, the background, this two-dimensional uh, wallpaper that shows what I proposed, and the forms on the surface are the ultimately what I was left with. Starting out, I had you know, what I proposed and the subtle over, um, uh, observed uh, from my mentor, Robert Wood, that goes to when I realized what was taking place wasn't going to happen, and I just need to take a deep breath and realize that things were going to be different. Here, you know, it was about a couple weeks in when I was more focused as an artist rather than a researcher and needed to assume the responsibility as a researcher. This is, a, this is representing the grant, what I was expected to do, um, and switch complete mindsets. This is uh, myself, the spontaneous artist, and my mentor, Robert Wood and how I looked up to him for guidance and what to do as a researcher in this situation. This is called Fallout. This is a representation of when I realized things were not going as planned. You know, and it was, it was pretty hard. It, it's in your face. It, visually, it's, it's balanced differently than the rest of my work because it was very bland, in your face, prominent. When I, when I put my piece in the kiln, I, as I said, I came up with amazing results, but I was left with shards. Now, this is the largest piece that I was left with. Here uh, is um, the background is much more prominent than the other pieces because I realized that what I proposed wasn't going to happen. Um, here are some shards showing the internal uh, structural mistakes that I made. And that's where I was left with um, for a couple months. Then I realized that you know to put a show together, I had to do things differently and use the shards because I learned a lot as a person as well as a researcher and an adult. I found forms I found interesting, applied them how I thought appropriate, and put this show together called Memoirs of Frederick Castle. That's my story. Hope you can help.